In last video, I did a quick overview about VDC Explorer. Let's move on and let's take a closer look to VDC Explorer user interface. VDC Explorer is a classical standalone application in terms of installation and opening and using, meaning that after opening the software, you will create new projects, you save those projects, and you make changes into those projects. When you start VDC Explorer, you will shortly notice that it has a really simple user interface. In here, I have opened up a sample model. In that main area, I can freely navigate my model using a mouse, left and right buttons, and scrolling wheel. On top row, I can see my main tools, and in ribbon fashion, of course. So you have tabs with different tools. On the left-hand side, you will see a Explorer palette. This gives you an idea about your project structure. Usually, when you start new project, this palette is empty or it may have some standard groups. Currently, we see different groupings. We create groups based on local standards. And when starting to import different models, we want to be sure that those models will be placed into right groups so that anybody can understand and can also use our models more easily. You have different views of your project structure. In here, we have group names, but we can also see at file level. We talk about file types in later videos. Down below, you have topics list, but it can show also scheduler study or schedule cost graph, depending on what kind of user interface elements you have opened up. For example, I can go to my ribbon tab, schedule, and if I click a scheduler, this tab down below disappears. Also, if I go to explore tab and click on topics list, you will see that it also disappears. In that fashion, you can easily create your own user interface layout. You can pick those user interface elements and place the way you want. In here, I have, let's say, classical layout that you normally see during your first use. Just keep in mind that when you see a shadow below this button, it usually means that you have a user interface element open or you use some particular tool. When you want to quickly open up a different project or perhaps you want to create a new project, then you can use those buttons on the top left row. You can click a new project, you can open up a new project and of course you can save your project. When you go to projects tab, you will see quite the same buttons here enlarged. You also will see recently used projects and you can quickly navigate through those projects just doing a left mouse click. On the right hand side, you will see some getting started information. You will also see a license information and for collaboration services, you also need to be logged in. When you want to go back to your project, you simply use explore tab. When you have your first look at your model, you can quickly navigate through your topics list just clicking, it will automatically show you that project location enlarged and also pay attention that those topics are created with different visible groups. As you can see from the left hand side, quite many groups are hidden. A group is hidden when you see a red line across an eye icon. If you pick another topic, you see that it has different eye states meaning some groups are visible and others are not. You can easily click to hide some group or if it has some subgroups, you can easily hide or show those subgroups. In next video, we will take a closer look to different analyses, but we will also look how to start your first project.